Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. So, question four, um, why is there a difference in death rates uh, between countries? Um, nice question because at the moment, uh, South Korea has a death rate for the COVID-19 virus of 0.6%. And uh, Iran has a death rate of 4.4%, whilst Italy uh, is running a COVID-19 death rate of about 6% or thereabout. So the question then arises, why is there a difference between these countries? Um, the first thing I should say is that I am not an epidemiologist. They are the ones who actually run these figures and they are the ones that will spit out uh, what these figures should be. I'm just going to give a simple medical doctor's explanation for this. So the first thing I should say is that um, the situation is dynamic. So it changes uh, from day to day, month to month. And there is an inherent problem with calculating these uh, figures because uh, you can have a problem with overestimation and underestimation as well. And why is that? Well, if you base your figures on the total number of deaths over the total number of cases, then you run a problem with underestimation because there are still open cases that will result in deaths that you miss out on in your calculation. So you underestimate in that scenario. On the other hand, if you base your figures on the total number of deaths over the uh, total number of closed cases, you also run the risk of overestimating. And the reason is because deaths happen quicker than recoveries because recoveries are still ongoing. So you end up overestimating. But I suspect that in the end, uh, we're probably gonna arrive at the same figure that WHO has at the moment, which is 3.4% death rate. Um, but only time will tell uh, with that. So here are possible explanations as to why there are differences in death rates between countries. The first one is the uh, slackness in the healthcare system of each country. Now, if there is isn't any slackness in the system then of course you know deaths are going to happen uh, probably higher than a country that has more room for maneuver now italy for instance um they they didn't have that slackness even though it's a developed country uh, i think the system was completely overrun very quickly and uh, i remember one of the anesthetists having to tweet that they've had to choose between uh, what patients should receive intensive care bed and what patients shouldn't that's not a very nice place to be as a doctor but that was the situation they found themselves uh, because the system was completely overrun and the same thing actually happened in China the only difference is that China has I don't know infinite resources they were able to actually build a new hospital a fully fledged hospital in eight days I don't know how they did it but they did uh, the whole idea was to increase capacity and once they did that uh, they were able to take care of uh, more patients that were acutely ill and that brings me nicely to the second explanation which is crisis management how prepared were the authorities uh, for the outbreak? Because if they weren't prepared, uh, the system would be quickly overrun. So um, it happened in China. Uh, they were a little bit in denial and um, they had an exponential increase in the number of cases until they introduced the social distancing. So if the authorities are quick to act, then they flatten the curve and that means this, the healthcare system will not be overrun but if they are not quick to act and uh, they are in denial and they are slack then of course uh, the healthcare system will be overrun pretty quickly and you can also see that that was what happened in Italy uh, because they didn't take steps to actually control the disease uh, or contain it if you like uh, so um, those are the possible explanations as to why uh, there are differences in death rates between countries and hopefully uh, other countries would have learned from the experiences of China, Iran and Italy and even South Korea because South Korea has done a very fantastic job in controlling and containing the disease and that's why they have a very low death rate of 0.6%. So there we go. Uh, in my next video I'm going to be talking about the coronavirus and pregnancy and that's uh, a very important topic and it's also close to my heart as well. So um, expect that's going to be the next video. Okay, see you then.